I watched as the last breath trickled from her mouth. I sat holding her hand. In my silence, the clock on the wall reminded me of how time goes on. Ticking, ticking, ticking. Quietly, she lay still, her face free of pain, suffering, sorrow. I knew how much it meant to her to hear someone tell her you did no wrong. I moved her hair back from her face as I stood above her. I bent down and whispered in her ear, always know about You never did any harm to anyone. You never did know about I felt the tears falling down on my face. I, a grown man now, and yet the little boy inside of me was all I was aware of. I recall the days when I caught a glimpse of my mother, her warm smile, her gentle laugh, and how they separated us from her, my brothers and I. She loved my father dearly, and he did her, yet they could never marry, for he was a good Catholic boy and could not free himself of the loveless marriage that both he and his wife had to endure. He was compelled to honour his Catholic vows to death to his part. My grandmother could do little to help her daughter, but those who saw fit to take us away cared even less. As a little boy, he wondered. Behind stone walls for all the forgotten children. Behind those walls you did not see, nor could you hear their cries. Who allowed this to be? Imagine a world without blue skies. Behind those walls we knew too well. No one to listen, no one to tell. Even now, when you could know, imagine a world where nowhere to go. Behind those walls, our spirit died. They took our soul, they lied. Our daily bread of constant demoralizing. Imagine a world without dignity. Behind any wall, so much hidden, nature and nurture strictly forbidden. Through locked doors we remain. Imagine a world where nothing is gained. Those walls came crumbling down. I know the Lundy women had had a lot of stuff happening in the past and it was very hard for me to hear Maureen's story. I hope Maureen now can come up here and do her story. I felt her hands slip away. Gently, she walked through the gates. I watched as she turned to smile. I wished with all my heart I could go home with her. Look down at my small case, my new school bag, my shiny new wooden pencil case. I was reminded of her words. Maureen, she said, you are going to have a great education. You are going to be able to have a far better life, but she pulled it from me. You will not be using this here, she said. Why, I asked. Why can't I keep my new pencil case? The earth waiting for someone to say, how could we have let this happen? Here I am, a mother-to-be, suddenly behind locked doors for me. The walls were high, iron gates too. No escape for a mother-to-be. The heavy workload was laid out for me. Hard labour 
for free, no profits for me, a mother to be, only profits for the holy cloths, not me, as I a mother to be. The pain came, my baby is here, those in the cloths made it clear, my baby not for me. I broke their sin, you see, I was that mother to be, you see. Pain you get, and it didn't happen. But my granddaughter, she's just 20 years of age, and a few, just a few years ago she said to me, Nanny, why did you never put words to that song? And I said, because it's not a song. She said, but no, where's the words? So I wrote the words, and it just fell into place with the tune. And it's called now, Remember Me. Just think of me, those times. And I am there, I am there. Remember me on days when all the rain is pouring down, pouring down, pouring down. Remember me those days and turn around, just turn around and I'll be there with you till all the sun breaks true. Just think of me those days and I am there I am there remember me on nights when all the stars have disappeared the darkness falls darkness falls remember me those nights as I will you, I promise you, and I'll be there with you, till all your light shines true. Just think of me, my boy, and I'll